वेलकम टू लर्निंग मैथ स्किल्स विद कश्यप विद अ न्यू विद यू विद अ न्यू लेक्चर वी आर डूइंग द टॉपिक ट्राइंगल्स क्वारिटल्स एंड पॉलीगॉन्स एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द टॉपिक इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी लर्न अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्वारिटल्स एंड एंगल प्रॉपर्टीज इन द क्वारिटल्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल जस्ट फ्यू थिंग्स important things we will recap about the quadrilaterals first of all what is quadrilateral quadrilateral is a shape with four sides and four angles so today in this lecture we will discuss two quadrilaterals and the angle properties of these two quadrilaterals and we will solve some questions from your exercise 11b regarding these quadrilateral shapes so these are very common quadrilateral shapes as you know what kind of shape is this one if i draw it you are very much familiar and you will guess immediately that what kind of shape is this one yes that is a rectangle okay so now another shape i could draw so what is this kind of shape that is parallelogram so what are the angle properties and what are the properties what is the difference between rectangle and parallelogram first we will discuss so if you look at the rectangle the opposite sides are equal right in length and same case with the parallelogram the opposite sides are equal so what is the difference between rectangle and a parallelogram the difference is that of angle are in a parallel uh, rectangle all four angles are of 90 degree means are of 90 degree all four angles are right angle right and keep one two things in your mind you already learned that sum of a uh, angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree right similarly in quadrilateral we have four angles either it is a square either it is a parallelogram or rectangle or rhombus or kite the sum of all four angles must be equal to 360 degree right sum of angles of a triangle always is equal to 180 and sum of interior four angles of a quadrilateral always is equal to 360 okay come back to the rectangle and parallelogram so the only the difference between rectangle and parallelogram is that of angle the angle of uh, in in an angle of a parallelogram is not 90 degree right so what are the properties the sum of these two angles the sum of interior angles of the same line must be equal to 180 degree means if this angle is 110 to what will be this angle this angle should be 70 degree similarly sum of these two angles must be equal to 180 sum of these two angles must be equal to 180 and one more property is that opposite angles are same means if this angle is 110 this angle is also of 110 degree right and the other uh, properties are this that if uh, i draw the diagonals what are the diagonals if we draw a line to meet the opposite angles like this that is a called diagonals of the diagonals of a parallelogram so diagonals are equal right they bisect each other similarly in rectangle the diagonals are bisect each other mean this diagonal is equal to the this angle uh, this uh, um, what i draw i draw diagonal similarly this part of the diagonal is equal to the this triangle this diagonal so by using these properties we will solve some questions from your exercise 11a or some from your practice now pages so i draw some questions from your exercise and from your practice now pages so these are questions relating to rectangle and parallelogram so let's start to solve these questions very easy if you have these things in your mind these angle properties in your mind so first of all that is a rectangle it means each angle is of right angle right so it's very easy to find angle a and b how that it is a right angle angle c is a right angle so this angle is 
54 so what will be angle a angle a is equal to 90 degree minus 54 degree so what will be your answer you can separate that is very easy your answer is 36 degree right so you will get your answer a is equal to 36 degree so now what will be the b angle so keep this in your mind that these lines are also a parallel lines when a transversal so i will write this top uh, concept if we have two parallel lines right and there is a transversal cuts uh, two parallel lines then these angles are called alternative angles and these angles are equal and these angles are called corresponding angles so these angles are also equal but here the angles are on the opposite sides of the transversal so it is called <coughs> alternative angles right so it means they are equal so angle a is 36 so angle b is also 36 degree and what is the reason that is alternative angle you can write alternative angles in the logic in the reason bracket so now come to the next question that is also from your <coughs> from the rectangle okay so there is a triangle in uh, inside the rectangle sum of our angles of a triangle is 180 so first consider it is a right angle right so this angle is 39 so what is this angle if you name this angle so i can name uh, this triangle a b that is your c that is your d that is your e so what is this angle that is a e c so what angle is a e c we will subtract 39 from 90 degree 90 minus 39 so you will get your answer after subtracting what is your answer that is 51 means this angle is of 51 degree now we know the two angles of a triangle and we find two third unknown angle what is that is that is d so how can you find simply you will subtract these two angles from 180 so you can add and subtract from 180 and get your answer 129 so after subtracting you will get your answer that is 51 degree right so d is also 51 so now c is left how can you find c if you look at this one a c d is a triangle and what is the sum of angles of a triangle that is 90 degree sorry 180 degree so that is a right angle it means that is a 90 degree that is 39 and what will be the angle of c <coughs> 180 minus 90 minus 39 so after subtracting we will get our answer that is 51 degree so now come to the next question uh, so we, first we will complete uh, questions regarding triangle uh, rectangles so if you have a rectangle a b c d and there is a triangle inside the rectangle and we have to find the unknown angles that is a e d and c e d what is a e d a e d means we have to find this angle right so what is the angle of uh, a right angle means angle of 90 degree so it easy to find the angle AED how can you find the angle AED angle AED is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 51 right so you can solve it very easily that is 90 degree minus 51 it means that is 39 degree so this angle is of 39 degree so what is the other angle we have to find c e d means c e d this angle we also have to find that is also unknown angle so c d c is a c e d is a triangle one angle is 68 what will be this angle 
as you know that is a right angle so it means this angle is we will subtract 51 from 90 so we will get angle e d c we will get answer angle e d c you know how to write a uh, angle vertex always come in the center that calls e d c angle so how can you find 50 minus 51 that is 39 degree means this angle is 39 degree so now we have the two answer we have one unknown angle in a triangle so it easy for you to finding the angle d e c or c e d you can name both ways c e d so 180 minus 39 minus 68 degree so you can subtract and get your answer right so now we are going to solve the questions regarding parallelograms here we have parallelograms parallelograms have both opposite sides are parallel right but the angles are not right angle in parallelogram opposite angles are same means a is is equal to 106 that's very easy a is an unknown angle so a is equal to 106 angles you can write here opposite angles of a parallelogram that is your reason or logic so what will be the second angle angle unknown is b and again come here when there is a two parallel lines and there is a transversal that is a two parallel lines and that is a transversal so opposite angles to the transversal transversal are equal means angle b is equal to angle 48 why because this is alternative angles these are alternative angles right quite easy so come to the next now we have 2D, 5C and 4C. We have to find the angle of C and D. Okay. You know the property of parallelogram that sum of these two angles is equal to 180. Right. So here we have 5C. Here we have 4C. So by adding these two, we will get 180. 5C plus 4C that is equal to 180 degree. It means... 9c is equal to 180 and by dividing 9 on both sides we will get c is equal to 20 degree so c is equal to 20 degree is it clear so what will be 4c that 4c is equal to 80 degree and 5c is equal to 100 degree right okay now what is left we have to find the angle of 2d so 2D is equal to 80 degree because opposite angles of a parallelogram are same. So it means 2D is equal to 80 degree. So what is D? D is equal to 40 degree by dividing 2 on both sides. Right? So this question that is from your practice now pages. So in this parallelogram there is a triangle and we have to find the angle ABC. Now first what is ABC? This is your angle ABC right. We have to find this angle that is unknown. So sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree. So it's quite easy to find the angle ABC. Angle ABC 180 minus 64 so what will we get 116 degree means this angle is equal to 116 degree quite easy so now we have to find the other angle cde what is cde cde means this part of angle is unknown so how can you find what what will be this total angle this total angle must be equal to 116 because opposite angles of parallelograms are equal right so it means the half part of the angle is 49 the total angle is equal to 116 so it's quite easy to find c d e that is your e angle c d e c d e right this angle this whole angle is equal to 116 so we will subtract 49 from 
116 and we will get our answer what will be our answer that is 67 degree 67 degree so in this way you can solve these questions about rectangles and parallelograms and you can find it unknown angles quite easily by using these properties so do practice these questions at your home from these exercise also practice some questions from your workbook right so do practice practice make a man perfect and at the end don't forget to share subscribe and like my channel learning math skill with kashif see you till next lecture bye